11 past three in the afternoon, meal two. I've had a few bites, but I am going out my way to eat more healthily. Not with this meal, but uh, I've got a, four pieces of chicken downstairs and four pieces of salmon downstairs. And we're gonna have a curry with that. Cheers to no longer invalidating my efforts. This is a rice, rice and beef stew, by the way. No, some piece, there's some pieces of beef in it. Some of them, from eating them yesterday, did have a bit of fat in them, but you can just be careful. Even the one that I'm eating right now does, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat this meal now. 7.27 p.m. Meal three, I think. I can clearly tell my stomach. My stomach looks big, or well, bigger than it uh, has been in the past. From how I've been eating, I'm not surprised. I need to think, I think I need to cut down. I've gone out my way to make this meal at least somewhat healthy by adding the spinach. And also, I, I, without realising it, I got the wholemeal bread rather than white bread. But I consciously went out my way to make this healthier by adding spinach. Even though it's got mayo, it's got the spinach. And that's something worth appreciating. Yeah, it has mayonnaise on there, but I consciously put spinach so that it's uh, healthier. Plus, it's wholemeal bread rather than white bread, which could be less processed, which could be healthier. Anyway, um... I'm appreciating that. I appreciate that. I thank myself for that, for doing that. Self-hug. <sighs> I usually always have a deep breath in and out when I do that. When I give myself a self-hug, I don't know why. But I'll, um, I'll take it. So that tikka chicken is this, and then the tandoori stuff. I don't know where, the, I, don't know where I put that. It was some tandoori chicken stuff. But yeah, that's that's what this is. But anyway, I'm gonna have this now. There it is. 10.59 in the evening, last meal of the day, I think, having this. I'm putting on a big belly because of these meals at night. No, oh, wait, hold on a sec. Well, I, at least I have been putting on a belly. I can see it. People might not think it, but I can definitely see it. My body, I've been increasing. I, I have been increasing my body fat percentage by eating like this regularly. Regularly, I have. I definitely have. And it needs to stop. <laughs> As my dad would say, um, it, it would help. It would help if I changed this habit. Now, that's probably something that my parents, both my mum and dad, wouldn't say. Not with that wording anyway. But, um, yeah, it would help if I go out of my way to change. Me doing this on a regular, regularly basis. Otherwise, I want to be destroying myself from the inside out, really. And the only person who would be responsible for that is me. However, that isn't necessarily an issue. It's like it would be me that's responsible for all that. That being my body fat percentage increase. That also means it's within my power to not do this and to replace it with something else. I do have to remember, um, I am going out on my way to eat healthily. I'm going to have this. I'm going to put this in the curry. With the last meal, I went out of my way to take my health into account somewhat by adding spinach into the meal so it's not like i'm not doing anything to help myself out and i can appreciate that however on the flip side on the flip side sorry <laughs> i do have to keep myself accountable like how therapy in a nutshell says lovingly accountable she says that that would help i know i don't want to do i know i don't want to do this anymore because i see where it's, um where i'm headed eating this meal over and over again late at night or maybe just in general as well plus look at all these raises I'll be setting myself up for a sugar crash too outside of just increasing my body fat percentage it's me that's doing this yeah this food is not holding a gun to my head it is very easy to, to get though I mean, look at it. It's right there. As soon as I step in, as soon as, as, soon as I come in, 
How did you, why did he even have to? It's literally right there. All I have to do is glance right and it's right there. I can go out, just like how this is here. I can go out my way to make other precursors to make it easier to eat more healthily. Even if I am going to eat late at night, at least it's a healthier alternative. Which is something that I didn't think about today. I was, um, other, other than right now. But it's something that I can take into account. So yeah, cheers to keeping myself accountable. And cheers to um, also validating the progress I'm making. Cheers to doing both. When I am, cheers to keep myself accountable when I am doing the things I want to do and when I'm not doing the things I want to do. Cheers. Anyway, I'll probably leave that. I'll leave it there. Um, because I'm not invalidating my progress anymore, at least anywhere near as much, I actually am going to be, I'm making it a lot easier for myself to um, change how I eat or just do more of what I want to do on a, on a, on a daily basis. Yeah. Which is going to help me long term. So people say that's the term. Yeah. Cheers to making more progress. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. It's now three past eleven according to the clock. On the wall. And uh, I'm going to eat this. I can think about how I can keep myself lovingly accountable. Um, as the days go on. But for now, uh, I'll say. I'll say that's four past five. No, <laughs> four past eleven. But for now, I'll leave it at that. We progress slowly and surely. This isn't a movie where you can make years worth of progress in five minutes. That's just not how things work. It's slow. And um, me changing these sorts of habits where I'm doing things that are destroying my health bit by bit and really increase my body fat percentage. And um, things are like destroy myself from the inside out these are things that i change slowly but surely yeah i mean i have been raised in a place where well i have been raised by parents who eat a whole lot and they complain about their weight monkey see monkey do as a kid i didn't know any better and that's um something that i'm working through over and over but past a certain point i do have to hold myself accountable and say it's only them it's only because of them that I'd be doing things like this to a certain extent, not 100%. And it's not like I can't change things. It's me doing the eating. And seeing as it's me doing the eating, it's me that can change things as well. Anyway, I probably won't end this video <laughs> if I don't stop talking. So, Or if I don't leave it here, so I will. Anyway, this is it. This is the end of the video. And cheers to validating my progress. Cheers to holding myself accountable. And cheers to moving forward in life. Peace. 18 past 11, I thought the last clip was going to be the end of the video, but it's not. I've just seasoned the chicken. There's a little bit left in the bowl that I used, which was this one, to season the chicken with. And I decided not to use it. That's what it is. I decided not to use it because I've got enough. And I didn't want to teach myself to overdo it, do it, and potentially thinking scarcity. Because the little that I did have left was small. I don't need to. I don't need to use what was there, what, 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 what I had in this bowl. Because it's seasoned enough on both sides. Yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, or this quick clip, to, to show what's actually going on with the chicken, so that there's some continuity going on for when I do cook the chicken. It's just, it's not just randomly seasoned just out of nowhere. I poured this into, I poured the curry and the vegetable seasoning into the bowl, literally just stirred it around like that and um, I lobbed it on top, I lobbed it on top of the, the chicken. Before doing that though, I did rinse out the chicken um, that, came, that, um, that thawed out, no, the, the juice that thawed out. Uh, I poured that out and then I got the seasoning together, very simple for the curry. And um, yeah, we got this. I don't have any curry stuff myself, however, I have seen this stuff, this butter chicken one that was just on the floor there, and also this one here. I think what I'll do.
do is I'll use both of these to make myself a curry on the premise that they haven't gone off. It looks like they could have, they are dusty. I didn't see that earlier. When is it? When is it? April 2022. Oh no. Again, April 2022. I'll check these out tomorrow. If they smell fresh and I don't see any fungi, then I'll go for it, but we'll see. I don't know what I'll do if not. Um, I'll make a, oh, I can, you got the plum tomatoes here. So if that curry, those curry sauces have gone off, I'll make a stew instead. I can make the plum tomatoes and, um, in the freezer as well. Oh, I think someone's here. Plum tomatoes, ginger, onions, onions, the onions, scotch bonnet, that's over here, and um, maybe even some mixed veg. Not this one because it's not mine. I do have my mixed veg that I bought. That's over here, and. probably be it for the stew in terms of what I blend and mix together and then I'd add some extra mixed veg on top of that and some broccoli probably because I'm trying to get in I'm trying to lob in as many healthy vegetables as I possibly can in pursuit of going out of my way to make what I eat healthy more and more bit by bit not necessarily day by day but just as the days go on yeah I don't, I, I don't think, I haven't actually been following that improve 1% each day thing. I just, I'm doing my own thing, really. Just because someone believes that it works for them doesn't necessarily mean that it will work for me. Oh, I've just seen some beef stock. I can use that. Oh yeah, I can use this basalt as well in the stew if, if um, the curry doesn't work out. Oh, actually, speaking of, to make it a curry, I can use the plum tomatoes and then try something else out. Add this in the mix into the stew. And then if there's some turmeric there, I could probably use that as well. I've never seen this. I never knew TRS did this. Asia's finest foods, but people in West African households are using them. Yup. <laughs> yes, we are. Then you've got the all-purpose Raja TRS. Yup. I can use chili powder as well, to be fair, but I don't know. I might do, I might not. But yeah, okay. If the curries have gone off, then I can use, I can make my own stew instead of make my own curry. That might actually turn out quite, that might actually, that might taste quite nice to be honest. So I might actually do that anyway. I might do that anyway, just to see how it turns out. Um, if there's any, stuff here I wouldn't expect it to be honest because that's not where the seasoning to put in this cupboard really I have my own seasoning which I've completely forgot about I think this is the mild one this one here this curry powder here this is the mild madras which I need to top up sooner or later because that's almost run out it's, it's been there for months and it's really it's really lasted but I need to get myself another one they don't cost much at all as well. Maybe less than two pounds. But um, I can use that one that I just showed, uh, or that I've just shown, sorry. And this one as well. So I would probably um, add, blend everything in this and add the powder, I'll add the curry powders in here as well. See how that goes. 
I don't know how that's going to turn out. However, I can certainly try it out. So I'd add the two plum tomatoes. Probably, yeah, the two plum tomatoes, onion, ginger, mixed veg, and um, the curry powder, and just blend all of it. Just blend all of it, and then if I think I need more in the saucepan somewhere, wherever I'll place it, I'll just lob some more curry powder in there, lob some more mixed veg outside of the mixed veg that I blended, and um, yeah make myself at least a somewhat healthy solid meal i definitely would have been going out of my way to take care of my health though that's for sure even if it's not the, um the healthiest meal to be fair is there such a thing <laughs> the most supreme of healthy meals i don't know of course there are going to be meals which are of ob objectively and undoubtedly higher nutritional value and lower nutritional value than others but as for like the healthiest meal I, I don't know I, I'm not sure if that's a thing that's um, objectively speaking because that's more of an opinion thing however um, <laughs> I'll leave it at that I'm gonna put these all, uh, in the fridge and I'm put, I'll put those in the fridge as well see if you've got any bags I think we should do Eventually, thank goodness, I'll be eating my own bags when I have money coming in. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll actually leave those out. I think what I do is, financially speaking, I've been thinking about this. I think what I do is put myself in a position where I do have, I am progressing through the personal training route I've set myself to go on. But I'd be having many more income sources other than that, so that I don't, I absolutely don't need the job, and I'd be more than okay without it, so that I can still live comfortably, um, like big time comfortably in my current situation of living with family, and then I'd further and further and further develop my financial health and build how much. I'll be um, bringing in on a monthly and, and yearly basis. Slowly but surely, of course. Um, I, 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 well, I say of course, but not everyone might. Not necessarily. Just because I, I think this doesn't necessarily mean people obviously will think this. that's not the case. But um, I'll say it anyway. I believe that money is not for pay. Pay is not time bound as in you'd be getting it per month or per year as people might say but it's instead scale bound and perceived value bound if many people think they have a uh, see a lot of value in something they're gonna pay more for it they're gonna be willing to exchange more money for it than say something else like seeing um, an NBA match they'd be willing to pay a lot more than um, for NBA someone would be willing to pay a lot more for an NBA match than for say someone just packing shelves in the supermarket I also thought, now, just right now, I just thought that scarcity, the, the supply and demand thing really doesn't matter as well. There are only uh, very few NBA players, whereas there are many people that can pack shelves, but there aren't many people who'd be willing to get to a, um, a world, that world-class level with their NBA stuff. So there's the scarcity aspect of it as well, which would probably add to why, maybe even without people necessarily realizing it, which would add to why uh, people would be willing to pay more to see an NBA match and see people who they consider top-notch players, then um, a company would want to pay someone packing shelves at a supermarket, for example.
in time or time. I'll get there as the days go on. <laughs> as the days go on, so surely I'll get there. I'll get there. I will put myself as the, I'm on the way to, even through thinking about it, I'm on the way to being more than comfortable without uh, a conventional job. Because I'm thinking about it, just like how I thought about wanting to do the handstands and it was no more than just word of mouth. I'm, put, I'm now putting in the actions to get there. And um, bit by bit, it's gonna show for uh, my financial health as well because I'm putting the idea out there publicly, yes, but it's more, in my opinion, important that I'm putting it out there to myself, not the fact that I'm gonna upload this. I'll upload this onto the interwebs, yeah. I'm not thinking about that right now, although I know I'm going to. The fact that I'm saying it to myself in this kitchen by myself right now, oh, I've, with Apple as well, seeing as the phone's in my hand. Um, yeah, I'll be making, I'll certainly go out my way to make myself financially comfortable because I know it's like to not be financially comfortable. Man, outside of what a certain someone owes me and outside of what extra bits here and there that I have, I basically have 53p to my name now, man, <laughs> at my age, my chronological age of 21, I basically have 53p that I can immediately access right now, that I have immediate access to right now, and um, outside of going to the gym, outside of that I have that 53p, and it's, it <laughs> I've had a, I even had a dream, yeah. Oh, actually, I'll end this clip here so you can see my face. So, I wanted to use this clip to talk about dreams. <laughs> now, usually, in the past, outside of today, for at least the past few days or so, I'd say, I'd have dreams about sex, but today, that didn't happen. I had a dream. <sighs> Reminds me of Martin Luther King. I don't really think about black history all that much, but anyway, back to it. I had a dream. I was basically Carl Johnson, but in GTA 5, but with the same like sort of graphics that um, GTA San Andreas would have in terms of how CJ looked. Now, I was flying in a jet and I, I I was just flying in the sky as you do, but I touched the ground a bit, I skimmed the ground just a little bit, came back up in the sky, but as soon as I came back up, then I blew up. In GTA San Andreas, if you were to blow up in a jet, you wouldn't see CJ in the CJ's in Carl Johnson, <laughs> not this channel. Uh, you wouldn't see CJ co uh, come out of the plane in, in some way. You wouldn't see him basically when he gets blown up. You wouldn't see him because his body would have been obliterated to shreds. So fair enough. But but in my dream, the the jet blew up, I died, however, CJ, when CJ died, Carl Johnson, who I was at the time, in third person view, when he died, he had that same animation that he had when, um, when you jump from a far building, but as soon as you'd, as soon as you'd land, and his, and his body just kind of, just like, does that, and then he just falls, that's, that's what, that's the animation that have that CJ did when I, as Carl Johnson, died. Classic in the classic um, 
light blue jeans and white tank top. So after this happens, I think this that happened during the night. I was just flying. I, I, I think it was daytime when I skimmed the floor in the jet. And then it, when it was nighttime, no, and then when I came back up, it was nighttime. And then the jet blew up. The jet blew up, I did that that animation in third person. And um, that's me dead. Now, I respawn. And I think it was daytime when this happened, so I, I respawned in the day. Oh. I'll, just, I'll just hold it. I respawned in the day. And um, all this money was just falling out. It was just it was literally raining from the sky. Oh, I would have to sit up. It was literally raining from the sky. It's not um, not Benjamin's, not bank notes, but um, gems. But the gems were money, exactly like something out of Black Black Ops One Dead Ops Arcade. Exactly like those sorts of gems that you'd see there, but just not so big. The um, the gems were very small, and I particularly remember a pink gem not one in particular but I remember that colour just was all around pink, red, all of that and um, the money was, the gems which was money uh, in the stream was just running, it was just raining, flying out of the sky and I was just running I was running, like how you do in Dead Ops Arcade, I was just running with that classic CJ animation, just here, there, everywhere, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to get all that money. After that, in the same dream, I had, um, I was just sat down in the studio, not as CJ this time, but just as me. And um, I was just sat down on a light grey sofa, I think. And um, there was these certain lyrics, which I know I've heard in real life which I was just saying out loud in the studio and I had I had my knife in my right hand and I was just I was just repeat I was just repeating the lyrics. I think I could have been with Yeah the um I just remember the lyrics playing, the music playing well the the track I should say really the track playing with the instrumental and the vocals to go with it. This is a song that has happened and that has been made in real life it's not just one that I've made up in my mind and um, the knife that I'm thinking of it I, that's actually in the kitchen right now it's a small one with a black handle and um, sharp it's not it, it can bend a little bit <laughs> which I actually checked after the dream I think but yeah that was I've heard so many lyrics and draw up and say that but I talk about Shanks bending in that one certainly does. It it definitely does. There's one that's big and that doesn't bend though. I, I was just checking because of those lyrics that I was thinking um, that I heard. It's so it sounds so real when it the, with the way how they talk about it. P potentially because some of them really are about that life, however. I want no part to do with that man, not anymore. I made myself feel so angry thinking about those sorts of songs, and then um, that'd be one extreme. And then on the other extreme, I go out a way to try and balance it with that other extreme, which I think was, I know not was, could have been. It's not fact. I don't want to participate in black and white thinking, especially when I can catch myself doing it, or when I catch myself doing it. Sorry. Um, the other side. On one end, you have the angle, those angry lyrics from drill music and grind music as well. And then on the other side, to balance it out, um, there'd be like things that which I feel happy with, maybe like to down to a chemical level speaking. And I'd feel angry from listening to those sorts of things.
not only just the lyrics but the music as well so well one track in particular that i could think of and one instrumental in particular that i could think of is just this sounds like war and the track the original track is actually based on like the title is is a word that's related to violence you have that and then you have like the things i'd to get on with it now the things that um, that would counteract that but to an extreme level which i i think would be uh, sexual videos sexually implicit videos or not necessarily sexual videos but videos that i've seen as sexual uh, sexually implicit videos such as try on hauls and things like that or if we're going to sexually explicit just straight up porn up with that potentially well-known intro that mu well-known music intro yeah I haven't watched porn in a, in a bit quite a while maybe a week or so I don't actually know it's been much easier to not watch porn because it's no longer in my um, the porn hub image is no longer in um, my frequently visited on Safari. Went on a YouTube quick, a YouTube video quick. Got that removed, removed it all, and um, yeah, it's a lot more easy. It's a lot. It's a lot easier to uh, not watch porn because I did that. Because it's no longer there's no visual cue to do that anymore. Well, to, to go and watch porn and to that make it so easy to watch porn I've deleted that well, I've deleted the search history and the pop-up the frequently visited pop-up which had the Pornhub logo that's it the Pornhub logo on it it was the border was black and then within the border the background was orange yellow orange and then the uh, whiting was um black uh, the same color as the the outer border if you uh, go on safari on this phone the iphone xr you you hold it um, which is the only way you can delete it as far as i'm aware there could be the three dots which you click and then you delete it but um, like how you could on a laptop when you're on google for example but that's Google, not Safari. I'm talking about Safari. I don't know. But um, those three dots that I would see on a Google page, like on a free, uh, that's similar to a frequently visited, is the same three dots I'm talking about. However, you go, you if you hold on it, you see very, very pornographic well, sexual videos, which are of pornographic nature. I mean, I mean, it's in the name, Pornhub, and that just made it a lot more difficult to not watch, especially seeing as I'd uh, go out of my way to make myself um, not think about things that are going on in my life, like potentially losing my long distance vision, the plaque that's growing on my front teeth. My right, my right front tooth bled today, and I think I don't think it can wait any longer. No, no, that wasn't today. That was last night, I think. Yeah, I definitely need an appointment, but because of these things that was going on, I'd watch porn so that I don't have to think about them. And um, sometimes I'd even think it's nice to see. It would be nice to see some vaginal walls. It did serve its purpose. It provided me watching those videos meant that I had, um, I was receiving well, the pleasure, the dopamine, the pre pleasure chemical being released, I get released from that 
And also, I would smile sometimes, seeing vaginal walls from that <laughs> being like dug in and out, and sometimes actually being able to see the walls from the outside. Yeah. I'm thinking of one one video that I watched in particular, which I've tried to describe when saying that. And I thought that was nice. I did. And because of that emotion that I had, you can see in my face right now that with this, I'm not thinking, oh, now I'm thinking of it consciously. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think my reaction to when I just thought about it, it says it all, it provided um, well, positive emotion, happiness when um, watching those sorts of videos, even though rationally speaking, oh, I wouldn't want to do it, but it served its purpose. It put a smile on my face sometimes. And I get a lot of um, dopamine release from that. I can imagine how much, I don't know. But these sorts of things might actually, in less than a century from now, it might actually be um, figured out. People might actually be able to see the internet and things related to the internet, such as porn, the same way that we view smoking now. The way how we view the internet now is probably like this age is equivalent or could be this age is equivalent of how people viewed smoking back in the 50s. It could be. It could be. Um, we don't really know what's going on but we might feel good watching the things every now and then. Yeah. I, I can say that I feel I can feel happy knowing that I allowed myself to feel my um, genuine reaction when thinking those um, thoughts related to porn videos because it's not necessarily the truth but my perception of the truth at this point in my life it provided happiness I could see it in my face and when I'd be laughing about talking about that sort of stuff not because I think it's funny but um Probably because of the pleasure that the dopamine releases that um, watching those sorts of videos created, or that I created when watching those sorts of videos, seeing as it was me that went to watch those videos. Sometimes, I actually know to be fair, it'd be all the time, because it was up to me to try and delete Pornhub from the frequently visited tab, which I did on many occasions but I was never able to do it no not never sorry that's black and white think it's not the truth I didn't know how to do it I didn't know how to permanently get rid of the Pornhub logo from the frequently visited tab yeah right to bring that all back to what I was saying earlier I think that there could be a sign, the dream of me running to go get all this money or all that money in that dream could be a sign that I genuinely on, am on the way to having a, a, a fuck ton of money basically raining from the sky, maybe, maybe. It's, it, it must be what's on the unconscious mind otherwise why would I dream about it like that's basic that's A level psychology 101 what you dream of is what the unconscious mind's thinking of that's A level psychology 101 and this is this is this is stuff that anyone can access all you have to do is buy a book from WH Smith or Waterstones like anyone can access this you don't have to be studying it at school to be able to get that information. Heck, you don't even have to buy the books. You don't even have to buy the books. You can go out your way to go. You can go Quizlet. You can go Quizlet and get A-level psychology tips or questions. Like, even if you don't want to pay for the books, you can still get this knowledge. For at no financial cost. At no financial cost, you can get them. 
as long as you have an internet connection and as long as the internet's there and it's working, we can access this stuff. Not this, I was thinking of saying there's no excuse, but if you don't want to, if you don't want to access it, you don't want to access it. That's up to you, but it's there. It's definitely there. It has to be. I haven't checked. I haven't checked the um, A level psychology stuff on Quizlet, but I think that there is that stuff in my mind. I was think, thinking of saying I'm sure there is, but that isn't necessarily the case. That's something my mum would say, that sort of wording. Oh, I'm sure there is when you probably haven't done the research. Yeah, that's probably... But in a parent, you could think maybe from how my parents raised me. Which is certainly how I don't... Certainly not how I would want to raise myself as I reparent myself and do my due diligence to be able to live my life the way I'd want to, which my parents failed to provide for me but so be it man so be it i i died <laughs> but without without that sort of fuckery there that they have done and what they've said and what they've done um i, w- I would not be doing making these sorts of videos today so uh, so be it man fuck them <laughs> in that in that regard with all of that that negativity that they put onto me potentially because of the stuff that they haven't they might not have worked through parents or actually no not even necessarily parents people 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 who have gone through things and not necessarily overcome them but yet still thinking they're fit to raise kids Dad, my dad somehow thinks that I decided to be here and to be put on this earth. Me, as a non-existent being, decided to be here because that's what Islam says. What the fuck? <sighs> well, that's a load of fucking bollocks, I think. Doesn't make sense. How can a non-existent being be within the decision-making process to be put on this earth in the family that they'd be a part of with the specific attributes that they would grow up to have? And that they would have from birth, from birth all the way to growing up and past that. It make does make sense. Anyway, going back to the dreams though. I uh, uh, to the dream, not uh, it wasn't it wasn't more than one. I um, yeah, those dreams could be. This is how I've interpreted. This is how I've interpreted the dream. In order to, potentially, in order to get to that point where I would have a much improved financial health state, where I'd have a lot more money coming in, I might have to work through my anger first. Maybe. But as for what I what I was saying before I interrupted myself, when I was saying this could be. Uh, what I meant was this could be a sign that I'm further on that way to uh, improve my financial health. I'm sorry, I'm slouching. Yeah, it could be. I mean, right now, to my name, outside of what a certain someone owes me, and bits here and there that I don't have immediate access to, but is mine, I... It's a part of the loans, because of how I set up when going to uni. I, um, with my parents, I have, outside of going to the gym, 53 pence to my name that I can immediately access. Outside, there's some bits here and there which I've actually thought of, which I do have access to, to be fair. some pennies, some coins. Like in my mind I'm thinking of saying this is shit. That's what came in my mind. It's a um in reference to a one clip I remember Bazinga Ethan saying that in his voice maybe a football video in real life, I don't know. But um, yeah. 
that's where my mind has gone. Um, I know, but now my mind's gone to thinking about drill music. I know that. Oh, I forgot where I was going with that. I don't remember. Um, I could complain about my life situation and I will purposefully not invalidate the things that I could complain about. And I will say, yes, this absolutely isn't ideal. That's why I'd be complaining in the first place. To tell myself that this isn't ideal. Maybe not in the necessary not maybe not necessarily in the healthiest way or the most constructive of ways. But that could be why I was doing it. To complain. Complaining is expressing dissatisfaction of something. And that's constructive, depending on how you do it. Or it can be destructive. If you say this is shit or com- um, complaining, feel- showing, saying that you're unha- feeling unhappy about something but then not doing anything about it, that's, uh, that's not helpful. What can I do about my financial situation? Right here, right now, if there's anything that I could do, what would it be? Talk talk keep talking specifically go out my way to talk about solutions that i come up with to further improve my financial health that's the aim and um, speaking of i could go out my way to further work out how i'm going to do that well um the first thing that came to my mind as I was filming it before, it just abruptly cut off because of the limits that I have on the phone, which I haven't changed so that they actually fit how I go about using the phone in a healthy way. Even though they were there so that I have healthy limits in place. Anyway, the first thing that came to mind is doing financial uh, weekly reviews on my finance, financial health slash financial situation very similar to how I do uh, how I would do the weekly health reviews I haven't done them maybe a couple of weeks I'm not going to lie I don't think I really need to but, uh, but very specifically um, I don't think I need to upload them onto the internet. That's what I mean by I don't think I need to. They certainly can help, and this, but they're not the only thing that I could do in general um, to help me out or to help myself out you know, in this current situation I'm in, in which I have basically, outside of coins and pennies and outside of going to the gym, 53 pence to my name that I have immediate access to outside of what I'm owed and outside of what um, the loan that I have which I I don't have immediate access to as, as I said again or as I said so I could do those financial reviews on a weekly basis my, I saw my thumb shaking on camera. I'm, I'm not feeling fearful or anything like that. My mom, uh, seeing as the doors open a bit, my parents could be listening. But so be it, man. If they are, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna just keep on doing this for as long as I don't hear, hear any footsteps. I'm gonna keep on doing this shit. Silence helps. Help. It does help. Mine's feeling a bit overstimulated right now, but um, I do. Um, I 
I do still want to do this so that I can just get my thoughts out completely and if I write them down on a laptop cool if I don't I don't I have them somewhere at least but anyway um, I could do the financial reviews to review my situation on a weekly basis and to think about how I want to improve my financial situation regularly thinking about my financial my finances regularly outside of just thinking oh my outside of complaining and not acting on those complaints and just saying oh i only have this amount of money to my name oh i only have this amount that is a start but where i now see the issue laying with that is having those complaints but then not acting on them because those are very sound complaints to have because I'm looking to be to live in a self-reliant way where I can fend for my own and I need um, to be living I need I need a finance I need to be in a financially healthy state in order to fend for my own so those are more than sound complaints to have however where again where the issue lay is me having those complaints but then not acting on those complaints by thinking okay yes i do see this as an issue and that's fine however what am i going to do about it and i would think about this i would think about what i want to do like how i am now not on camera but just writing about it on the laptop but i wouldn't well, at least not from memory anyway, I wouldn't catch myself in the complaint and say, this is information right here. Just like with an emotion being information, these complaints are information as well. I'm changing my mind. I'm changing how I think in real time or in time. I'm changing how I think. Like right now, I'm changing. Those emotions and information used to help us out. Just like how complaints are too. The complaints about the plaque growing on my teeth. That's, those are sound complaints to have. But I could have been teaching myself through what I'm saying, what I do, that having these sound complaints and wanting to act on them it actually is in fact an issue. I think about the acting on them part, even though I, in my mind I'm saying I don't, I haven't done that. That's not the case. I have, for example, with the um, dental appointment thing because of the plaque. I think I was saying I need to get that done ASAP. I need to think, of, I need to get that done ASAP. But um, yeah, just because I say it doesn't mean it's true. Just because I think it doesn't mean it's true. Which in this case, it isn't. I have um, thought of solutions to the complaints that I've had. With the money I have done right now, even in the past, I've thought about how I must have throughout all of this, throughout this period of my life, I must have. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I have, even though I can't rem have, I can't think of any memories in which I have off the top of my head, but I must have, otherwise how would I have got to this point? But yeah, um, that's, my mind's starting to become more overstimulated now, I think it's getting, it's seeming to get harder to think consciously, overusing the brain. Well, at least I'm doing it at 21 and not 35. It, it is because uh, I'm starting off younger. It that is help that I can use that to my advantage. I don't want to abuse my youth. Don't like, get me wrong, but it 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 does help. The mind's very effing sharp, and it's only going to get sharper because of how I'm eating. It's like my mind is like. 2002 Ronaldinho right now very 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 young fresh 
ready. I think I could probably use that complaints or information thing that I've just come up with right now. That advice. And I could, I could probably use that to my advantage. What am I going to do to help further sort out my financial informa- uh, financial situation so that I can make those dreams come true, but just in a different way, where instead of it being gems raining from down the sky, it would just be a lot of digits <laughs> being given to me in the, in the bank balance, or maybe cash as well, hey, who knows? What else can I do? I've been in the financial situation. Uh, well, financial, weekly financial reviews. And um, understanding that my complaints are information there specifically to help me out. And they aren't things to invalidate. They are absolutely aren't. These are sound complaints. It's not like uh, it's not like I'm saying, for example, I have ten billion in the bank balance or bank balances in liquid and assets, but I want a hundred billion now. Even that complaint is something that's worth validating. Maybe not necessarily for the exact same reasons, but it's worth checking in and saying, I have more than enough money for all, any of the resources that I could want. But yeah, I'm still saying this. I wonder why. Maybe there's a deeper issue going on. And then we'd be able to go from there. So even that thought in itself is worth validating that complaint is worth validating it's an expression of dissatisfaction so i am going to call it a complaint because you're saying that well you want more you're not feeling satisfied with how much you have by saying well this i have 10 billion i want 100 billion yeah um i'm not Complaints are information, complaints are information, complaints are information, complaints are information. Just like how emotions are, complaints are information. <coughs> complaints are information. I say this over and over again to remember it. Complaints are information. Hmm. Helpful useful information mind you these were sound complaints and any complaints worth validating even if you after you work through it push it to the side it's worth validating it's worth checking in and saying well why what, what am I going to do what are things going on here I could ask that about my financial situation right now what do I think is going on here? How do I think I got to this point in which I'm saying that outside of pennies and coins and the gym stuff, I have 53p to my name that I have immediate access to? How do I think I got here? Refusing to do a dead end job. Refusing to do any dead end job that just had money coming in per hour (laughs) pay's not time bound man I refused to go to the job centre after going there once I said never again so basically because of standards that's one reason, I, in my opinion, that's one reason as to how I got here, because of standards, 
because I said to myself, I'm not going to just do any dead end job to have money coming in. I'm not doing that for money. I'm not going to let money be the master of me. I'll let money help me out. Not even necessarily be a servant, but there, be there to help me at all. It's not human beings. Huge servants are human beings, just like all of us. It's not a resource per se, like money. Money is an inanimate object. Servants aren't. They're human beings. So I don't even want to say I'd make money my servant, because money's the money's not an animal. It's not an animal object. It's not human. So I'll instead say um, I can use money as a tool to help me out. And that's what I'll do now. So how did okay? Going back to the question though, how did I get here? So okay, I have okay. I had the standards, and I say. I'm not going to do any dead end job for 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 pay. I'm not doing any dead end job for pay that I don't that I potentially might hate, just so that I can have money coming in. Okay, so that's that's number one. What's number two? Even past that, it's still possible to do something that I like and have pay coming from that. So why haven't I done that yet? Because I've been on the process to get into that point by getting my level two qualifications. In my mind, I was just saying I have been slacking here. So, potentially, maybe another part of how I've got to this point is um, by invalidating the process, uh, not the process, the progress that I have made with um, the level 2 gym instructor course instructor course that I'm currently doing at the moment by saying like I was thinking of saying now I've been slacking rather than saying I've gone out of my way I didn't even think of this until right now I've gone out of my way to do some even this week But yet, that thought saying I have been slacking isn't appreciating the progress that I have made in total, not only with the coursework, but just overall, but doesn't take into account that I've done the practical parts of the course and I passed it. I've done the theory exam and I passed it. It's inconsiderate of those things that I have done and it makes it me thinking that way would mean I'm I'm making it easy for myself to carry on slacking to carry to carry on failing you could call it not doing what I'd want to do at least as much but I could think I can now understand at least more clearly how I got to that point anyway and um, I think a part of that would be what I've heard Dr K call from Healthy Gamer GG or, or HG as in Healthy Gamer say that could have come from moving the goalpost by doing I, now upon reflection I think I definitely did this by doing an X amount of the work but then in the next day wanting myself to do more and I was doing this I vivid, very vivid, vividly vivid, vivid, very vividly remember myself doing this I did it for 5 minutes I did some of the coursework for 5 minutes then because of the 1% improvement every single day uh, mentality which I had at, the, um, had at the time because I was trying it out I'll say okay instead of 5 minutes do 6 minutes tomorrow I did do that but I could have been setting myself up for failure by not maintaining that long term 
because I was moving the goalpost by saying, well, five minutes is by through my actions and through what I'd say, implying that my that five minutes that I did do is not enough. I have to do more now. If I were to go back, I think what with that mentality or with that way of going about things, what I probably would have done with the same mentality now is um, if I wasn't doing the focus on X once a week thing that I'm trying out now because of watching that video, I probably would have stayed doing them for five minutes or doing the coursework for five minutes each day or maybe, I know I would have done it each day because I was thinking of doing it every day, yeah, but um. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> y'all. Go back to that question. How have I got to this point? So I was saying, standards by saying, I'm not doing any dead end job just for money which I would see, unfortunately see, people in my age range do at any, any Starbucks job, specifically for money. Any supermarket job, specifically for money. Yes, the car that I have that was given to me is sawn right now however because I'm not paying road tax etc oh I've just seen the curry powder on this e. oh no never mind it's gone because I wouldn't be paying road tax blah 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 I'm on it um, I haven't really been having to pay for much and it's been easier I've been up that way I've made it easier for myself to actually keep on thinking deeply about my life so that when I do want to pay for road tax and when I'll be driving the car and that I'd be more than ready mentally and financially too to actually to be able to handle that and that will that those days will come those days will come, they will come and go, and I'd be in that position for longer than, eventually for longer than I wouldn't have been in that position, eventually, maybe in my 50s, maybe in my 40s, who knows, but eventually that will be the case, because I'm saying it will be, and I believe it, if I just carry on doing what I'm doing now eventually I would I would have been able to drive for longer than I wouldn't have been able to drive eventually because of me saying that right now and genuinely believing it after long enough I certainly would have because I know that I want to learn how to drive even though I'm putting it on the back burner because of my financial situation speaking of now that I say that uh, a part of why a part of how I've got to this point where I have 53p outside of the gym stuff it's because I was investing, my, investing in myself specifically through driving lessons that 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 cost a lot more than anything else that I purchase this isn't necessarily expensive that's subjective but objectively speaking factually speaking it cost a lot more than anything else that I was paying for on a regular on a regular basis, such as shopping. So that's a part of how I got it. Living beyond my means. But there was no way I wouldn't have not been able to do that without income sources. However, I was because I was investing myself and it has been helpful um, ability wise with my driving and experience wise again with my driving. That does mean that my financial, my, my bank, my bank balance is plummeted. It does. That's the cost 
rather ironically that's come with that specifically because i haven't replenished that money that i would have uh, expended <sighs> listen to all these big words very basically because i'd be putting putting money into that and i'd be giving my driving instructor that money and there was no money to replenish it the bank balance would just be going down and down and down as it has been doing but yeah that's the part of how i came here how i how, how i got here yeah investing in myself with no income source or sources to replenish that um, those investments such as the gym the driving lessons the shopping and other investments that i make for myself such as buying books which i've done recently But yeah, it was predominantly the driving. That was one of yeah, yeah, definitely. That was definitely one of the main things that um I spent money on that meant that I am now in this position today. Outside of um the fact that I was ha I was having no income sources to replenish those payments. Yeah. My head is hurting right now. Imagine that chronicle age is 21. It's 12.30 in the morning, the day after. Um, on a Thursday now. My head's now start At the back of my head now starting to pulsate. Because it, I've done overuse my head. However, the mind is, is possible to do. Especially because of my uh, the youth that I have right now. I may, as, I'm, I may as well do it, I say. But it's not just because I can do it doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthy for me or that I should do it. I think what I probably should do now is give it a rest. But am I going to? Nah, probably not. Why? Because I want to further work through this and maybe come up with something that I could do after I sleep to further help me out what could I do to further help me out well my answer to that question is to do that weekly financial review do that do that so I could further work through my situation and I could start off with where I've um got to with this video by asking myself how have I got here and that's going to be probably easier to do after making this video because I've now actually thought it through so standards would be the first one I wouldn't get any dead end job I wasn't with, I'm, I wasn't and still I'm not willing to get any dead end job even with 53 pence to my name basically even in this situation I'm still not willing to do any dead end job just for money nah that I'd have to live with that for the rest of my life that I went against my moral code for a short short period of time so that I could go out my way to improve my financial health but uh, through having money coming in but that money coming in wouldn't consider if I was doing something that I liked and if I was giving myself the necessary space to grow it, it wouldn't consider that and it may not even consider my sleeping routine say if I was doing a, a packing job at night so that I could think at day Could have destroyed my sleeping routine by just trying to have money come in. Yeah. No, hold on. I need to pull my jeans up. My bum was just on the seat. <laughs> this ghost done. Nah, not really.
Maybe another thing that I could do outside of the outside of just thinking how did I get to this point where the bank balance is so low? I could think about what am I gonna review on a what questions can I ask myself? Literally like a NHS depression and anxiety self assessment quiz, but just the financial health equivalent of that. What can I ask myself to uh, further improve my health over the months? What can I do? I know how I go about it, what sort of systems I'd use. I just use one that's similar to the NHS, um, depression, and, depression and anxiety weekly quizzes that I'd use. I just copy and paste that. I know it works, so I just do that. And if I do want to go about it differently, then I will. But I mean, if it's not broke and it's still and it's really helpful, why fix it? If I felt dissatisfied with its efficacy, fine. But I'm absolutely not dissatisfied with that system's efficacy, in my opinion. I might have to let it go past a certain point, but it it will it absolutely will work for now. I know it has, I know it will. I know I have. Not necessarily. I really believe it will. Because it being the weekly financial reviews using that same system that I'd use to do my self assessment quizzes. Because I've improved my mental health with that system I've used. So yeah i just do that until i feel dissatisfied dissatisfied with the efficacy of that system i'd use with the efficiency of that system that's what i mean yeah how helpful it is how efficient it is It might look like I'm feeling sad. I'm just that. Um, I'm certainly not. But this topic's very deep. Needed though, definitely needed. <laughs> With it, I'll be able to help myself out and say, "Well, there's so many people online saying." as you age you gain more responsibilities how could I go out my way to not necessarily avoid said responsibilities that they may be talking about but instead minimise how much I'd have to think about them like paying bills um, paying all the car payments you'd have to pay. I don't even know. Road tax. Car related. Road tax insurance. That's for any other payments. Outside of the MOT test. And outside of um, any other repairs you'd have to do. I can't really think of anything else. Like the MO. Past the MOT. Uh, when I started to think about the MOT payments. And the other repairs. Like I was really having to think there. Because it's not. That's probably one of the last things on my mind right now like car payments and that I have much bigger fish to fry I mean the 53p the 53p situation the, fi <laughs> the 53p situation maybe I could call this a period in my life the 53p period which maybe people might be reminiscing back um, when watching these videos and um, bringing it up after years worth of time has gone the 53p period <sighs> man I could beat myself up about it I could talk down on myself I literally in my mind I call myself a waste man I call myself a waste man in my mind just by uh, as I was thinking about this I'm not this is it. I'm not. I'm not a waste of space, man. I'm not. But just because, again, just because I think it doesn't mean it's true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to treat myself like that anymore. 
it's not the worst thing, that, it's not the worst thing I've said to myself, it's not the worst that I've done to myself, I mean I've inf inflicted self-harm by scratching myself in the past, it's not like, it's not the worst that I've said or done to myself, it's probably, the self-harm is probably like the furthest I've gone, but yeah, I was really bringing myself down by, by how I speak to myself and If I do it nowadays, just like how oh, I've got the time in that warning, just like how I did in my mind now, I can immediately catch it and correct it and say, nah, nah, I don't believe that just because I think it doesn't mean it's true, man. I on one end, I wouldn't call myself a waste man, but on a, on a, on the other end, end, I don't believe that I'm someone to be worshipped either however w within that within this end here there's a lot of narcissism involved and I'd say that I certainly could have had narcissistic qualities um, which I could have got from my parents in serious conversations I know that they've said many times countless times that they really do believe that they're not at fault. They've done nothing wrong. Like they can't see errors. And sometimes, if I were to point it out, well, I'm just, I'm just saying I did this and that. Like how my dad said in the past. If I find out, just say fuck him, man. Maybe that's a part of how I got here as well with my financial situation with this 53p period. Coping mechanisms. I'd be feeling so much stress for my financial situation that I'd set the breeding grounds for anger. Like how that uh, anger inducing thought just came in. And then from there, I'd be using more coping mechanisms to deal with the anger by trying to go out my way to um, have positive positive emotions due to feeling anger to try to try and get rid of that anger through watching porn through watching sexually implicit videos that's probably a part of how I came here how I've got here stress I mean even through this video my left eye has been twitching it was yesterday and maybe even the day before as well that is a is a um it's information, useful information that I can use to my advantage. If I'm feeling stressed, there sure as hell is a reason for it. Eye twitching is a sign of that, of course. And I mean, this is basic stuff that you can look at in the NHS website, signs of stress, for example. Signs of stress, NHS, you'll probably be able to find it there. Or maybe even NHS eye twitching. Like that, that's what I did. And this stuff is probably even for someone who's in America. You could probably look at NHS stuff. So, like, even the resources from the UK, someone from the United States of America can look at. Even though right now I'm in the UK. <laughs> yeah. This stuff is easily accessible on the internet now. And, um, <clears throat> and, um, speaking of accessibility, other things that I could do to help improve my financial situation is to go out of my way and learn more about it. Right now is absolute. It's not a finance. I, I basically can't buy a book related to money. However, what I can do is I can use the sources on the internet that are there which come at no financial cost. I can do that. 
that I can do. And I can go and look and see if there are any books that I want to buy. Rather ironically, that are related to improving your financial health. But I don't have to buy, I don't have to pay for any resources to go out my way to further learn about financial health. However, it would be nice, man. I think it would be nice because it wouldn't be on the screens. I don't want to be on the screens all the time. I want to give my, my, my eyes some time to rest from the screens. All that blue light that's suppressing melatonin produ production, basically telling my brain that it's, it's daylight even at 2 a.m. Like it's as bright as 12 p.m. at 2 a.m. when obviously that absolutely is not the case. Yeah. So, okay, to go again, what, what can I do? What can I do to help myself out? So that I remember to uh, make a note of this, like on the iPhone notes or something. I can do those weekly financial health reviews. I can go out my way to find resources that come at no financial cost to be able to improve my financial health. And I can go and search for books that are related to improving financial health from trustworthy sources after doing my research, after enough Google searches and that. And uh, YouTube videos as well. I can do the reviews. I can look at resources that are related to improving your financial health and making more financially sensible decisions related to my um, related to finances. I can do that. I can use the resources that I've already gone and got out, gone out my way to go and learn from such as very well mind or very mind the org i think I don't, I don't i think it's very mind the org which has um information related to improving your financial health or making more financially sensible decisions such as taking money out and paying with cash when you go to the supermarket so that you don't spend more than you want to so that you have a limit you take out the cash that fits that limit and you don't spend anything beyond that you don't take your card out which having the cash there would make it very easy to not do to not take your card out because the cash is there that's what the cash is for. So, um, yeah, I can, I can go and uh, look at the, uh, the resources that they have and use and then go out my way to further just keep on reading from the links that they have given as well. I found out about this very mind.org website from NHS. Um, from the depression and anxiety self-assessment quiz I in the past have said that I've had concern about my financial situation and in my opinion rightly so that I'm not against and I'm not saying that but I bring that up because that's why I got the link from on question 17 it has of this NHS depression and anxiety self-assessment quiz it has what are you basically what are you worried about you worried about your your health your weight how you look your financial pro problems and struggles that's near the bottom and then the very last option is other and in the past i've clicked on financial problems and struggles and very mind it all came up if i'm not mistaken Yeah. Right, I think it's 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 gone on twelve fifty, looks like twelve forty seven.
in the in the morning i think it's about time that i end this video because i'm really tired so well actually no i'm not my mind has gone blank that's why i'll be doing it but i'm not really feeling tired though i mean you do have the light which could be telling my mind that it's, it's daytime even though it's it's pitch black it couldn't be any more pitch black outside but um yeah this is me man even in this financial situation of mine i'm not doing this fucking bullshit man i'm not this bullshit mean meaning I'm not doing anything just for views so that I can have money coming in through YouTube. I'm not playing, I'm not playing, I'm not playing that, I'm not doing that, I'm not playing that game. I will not play that game. Yeah. I'm going to go out of my way to make, or to make money, to have money coming, to have cash flows. being honest and sticking to my guns I want to say but if we're talking metaphorically here that isn't necessarily the most sensible decision what if the trigger's gone what if what if the piss uh, what if the system that allows bullets to eject from the gun itself doesn't work what if there are no bullets in the clip metaphorically speaking what if there's no magazine maybe there are more efficient guns to use to stick to maybe there are but as for honesty that is probably in this case a gun that I'll always keep on me, by my side, on my hip, always, always, but why? First reason that comes up is, I can't lie to myself, I can lie to any, everyone else everyone else i can convince anyone of a lie if i really went out of my way to do that and to learn how to lie and to maybe develop my skill of bending the truth which i do have i can but only on other people i can't lie to myself And long term, then my second reason I could probably come up with is because I'd have to live with that. The fact that I'd be lying and that I'd be bending the truth when I don't want to, when it doesn't benefit me, it just hinders me, it holds me back. There are some situations in which I have bent the truth, which I thought it was beneficial to me. Not to myself but to other people even with minor things I have done for sure with my parents for example I have done that with um, small things here and there but yeah, for example say where are you going I say I'll go for a walk what else are you going to go to the gym or something like that but I don't know damn well what I'm doing like saying Oh, I'm going out for a walk when I be in reality. I would, yeah, I, I might have been, but really, I know damn well I was going to go and do, go and check it myself, get get an appointment that day. I know what the fuck I was doing, and it wasn't just that. Well, I knew what the fuck I was doing, and it wasn't just that. Yeah. But as for this going out my way to try and lie about my financial health that's just gonna I'd be increase I'd be unnecessarily increasing the difficulty to 
improve my financial health if I do that, you know. But I say you know as if you'd be able to understand as if people from the internet, other people who are me, would be able to understand. Not necessarily. And you guys don't have to. I will say this though. I just need I need to tell the truth to myself otherwise how can I help myself out if I don't face not even necessarily the truth but my perception of the truth that make it unnecessarily difficult to progress so I'm just gonna face the truth as I have been doing and um, go from there really that is going to solve my situation. Me doing that, me facing my perception of the truth and truth um, factually truthful things is going to help. It is. I will be helping myself by doing that. That's the wording that I wanted to pick because it's me doing that. It's me sorting my situation out. It's not just happening. As I might have been making it seem with that other wording that I was using. My head hurts in the front now, but not anywhere near as much as it was at the back. Oh, that was a heavy pulsating, but this is just lingering and it's there. A little bit, a little, I was going to say a little bit, no, but it, it is there a little bit, man. Yeah. Honesty is a gun I will always keep by my side in pursuit of sticking to my guns my guns my strengths that's what I'm saying really when I say my guns these are strengths that anyone could develop really honesty is a skill that anyone can go out of their way to develop and which I've probably develop, been developing ever since I was 16 when I said I'll be honest with myself and I will never miss a day of sixth form and as far as I'm aware, I never did miss a day of six four man. I can certainly keep that honesty that I said I was gonna have as well. Which I plan on doing. Even right now. I've thought of if this channel were to have one million subscribers. Was that even possible? I'm not sure if I'd want it to be, but that might actually just happen. Not because I want it to, but because maybe so many people would actually share this story and value it. My story. People might share this story and value it, and then from there, the channel grows to one million even though I wouldn't be advertising it people would just know through other means like uh, maybe other places I post or other places I've been that this channel was where I not necessarily where my journey to riches started but where it started publicly yeah and where I've made major progress in my life Just to summarise, what can I do to further improve my situ financial situation? Write about how I got here. Speak about it like how I spoke about it in this video. Understand where I'd want to go. Which I've spoken about in this video. Be able to have many, uh, well, just financial, financially healthy space. Man, where money, more money's go coming in than going out. 
not like they're gonna be tens of millions going in and then just like maybe what five hundred or it went from five hundred to one grand going out. It wouldn't be that it's not like that would be happening, so it wouldn't be like I'd be holding on to resources. Um what else? Do those financial health reviews, do them and uh that I can start from there. But for the for for now though, that's the end of the video. Oh also um, the other thing, the last thing that I'd add is keep on just thinking, keep on just further understanding me, keep on just understanding that keep on learning, keep on growing. And remember, as I've come up with in this video, emotions of course are information and complaints are also also helpful information just like our emotions are it's information and those complaints they're helpful useful because they're expressing dissatisfaction about something and i can use that to say well okay why well, at least some somewhat don't like what's going on here what what is it that i don't like how can i move forward yeah just do those things and then go from there man anyway Keep doing you and you'll get somewhere, somewhere big. I don't know where, but somewhere big. Not necessarily a place that you can't handle, but a place that's healthy. A place that is healthy, in which you feel okay, you feel safe, and um, you just love in life. You will get somewhere big, in our real name, you will. You will just uh, keep going, really. Just keep going when quite a few people aren't watching, or not many people are watching. Keep on telling the truth, or well, my perception of the truth at least, not necessarily the truth, but my perception of the truth. Keep telling, keep on telling for your own sake. It's with your it's within your best interest to mate. Keep telling. Keep telling. You're not gonna get anywhere if you stay silent, even to yourself. You're not gonna get anywhere. People talk about moving in silence, but there's there is such as they might not actually consider that there is such a thing as too silent. If they're, if you're not even talking about these things, that, these ways that you want to grow and progress to yourself, what are you expecting to happen? The situation to just, the situation, that an ideal way of life to just come out of nowhere. I've never heard of that before. That way of thinking, I've never heard of that. I've heard of move in silence and grow in silence, but I've never heard of someone saying there is such a thing as too silent. Just like how there's such a thing is too loud. Telling everyone your business in that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really doing that right now because this channel's subscribe account, it was on 61 like, a couple of days ago. So someone an account clicked subscribe so that it was unsubscribed and now the channel counts back to 60 this is where in terms of success objectification if we're looking at this channel as a success object that is where it's at at the moment view counts maybe like hundreds of views per month maybe including my own um maybe 1500 minutes of watch time and um a couple of likes here and there i want to say 55 something maybe 55 likes 55 hours watched 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I actually was 55 hours watched. Last month, I got an email. YouTube sent emails about um, performance. <laughs> Man, in this YouTube thing with the email they'd send, they'd be making it seem like you are your numbers. How well you're doing, your performance is only determined by numbers. That's bollocks. Those numbers don't take into account if I'm mentally healthy. Those numbers don't take into account if I'm actually doing what I want to do truthfully. Those numbers don't take into account if I'm actually feeling satisfied with what I'm doing outside of just views and likes and comments and stuff. Speaking about comments, the, I might get one, maybe once a month, maybe once every few weeks. Oh, not I, the, um, the videos that I've made on this channel might get that. It's not me though. It's not me getting those comments. It's those comments being on the videos once every few weeks. Once every, few, <laughs> once every few weeks, yeah. Um, as the days go on, that's gonna just increase and increase. And I'd like, I, if people are going to, I'd like it to get to a space where it's not excessive, at least. But there's so many comments that I can't comment to all of them if I if I wanted to. That's like, that's too much, I think. But for now, uh, it's actually pretty helpful. Because there were there there were there are fewer comments to focus on and to look at. And because of that, it might actually be very helpful for me because I have less things to or less opinions to distract myself with because they're not as common because they aren't they aren't coming in as much as they might do as the days go on as the months and the years go on one year from now this channel could have have a few hundred subscribers subscribers people who have left clicked on their laptop or people who have touched the button on their phone make it seem like it's such a big deal but then again that's probably the success objectification that's at play here I know from personal experience with the people that I've spoken to about the channel one of the first questions that would be asked is well, how many subscribers do you have? Not even how many subscribers does the channel have? But how many subscribers do you have? Almost as if you are, you, your, uh, your worth is defined by your subscriber count. Maybe not even your worth, not even just your worth, but The channel's worth, the, the worth of the videos that you make on the channel and the channel itself is just defined by a subscriber count. It doesn't con it doesn't consider the fuckery that you you might be up to 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 have that subscriber count. It doesn't it doesn't consider if you are your famous or infamous. It, it doesn't it doesn't consider any of that. Just how many subscribers do you have? On a side note, this take is 1 hour, 2 minutes and 10 seconds now. This could actually be the longest take I've done on um, on, on this channel ever. Like this one clip itself is over 1 hour, goodness me. <laughs> but then again, to be fair, that doesn't actually mean that it's more valuable than the other clips that I've made. And it doesn't mean it's more valuable than the videos that I've made that are only seconds long. because. They, those videos that are only a few seconds long are just as much of a, um, much a part of the channel as 
these these long clips are much longer clips are yeah here I am laying my laying my legs on two chairs and slouched on another talked about my financial situation so seriously but look 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 at how look at how I'm, I'm situated on this chair look However, because I'm showing this much honesty, not to be relatable, but just to tell the truth to myself, this is what's going to make me get far in life. Well, get far. Get to a place where I'd want to be in life, have an ideal way of life. Yeah, because of this, because of this honesty, I'm willing to share and um, the lack of edits that the, the videos have. This is what is going to mean I get far. I'm not willing to try and make this look pretty. It's not the, this way of life is not pretty. It's not, it doesn't look ideal. It doesn't look fancy. I mean, Again, as I said, look how I'm situated on this table. I should probably, probably show it under the table too. In my mind, I said inshallah, but I don't have religious beliefs, so it's probably just because of the fact that I'm coming up. I've been raised in the Muslim household, but no amount of religious prayer can help me here, I don't think. That shit is not going to put, directly speaking, it's not going to put the necessary, necessary thoughts that I need to think to improve my financial health and do, do what I want to do. That's not gonna help religious thoughts. No Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim can help me here. No inshallah, no, no all praise be to God is gonna help me here. It's not. In the words of Love Dorsey, that's the person that I'm thinking of right now. When I think of the phrase, faith without works dead. No amount of prayer is going to help my financial situation if I don't have the thoughts about improving my financial situation. Those are the thoughts that are going to help, not the religious prayers. You can use, if you, uh, if you want, you certainly can use it as a stepping stone if you think that's going to help, but those thoughts aren't going to help directly. And that's, oh, that's the belief that I have that I'm not willing to um, debate. I have a closed mindedness with that and I know I do because I know that thinking religious thoughts aren't talking about bank balances they're not talking about stocks or dividends or <laughs> all that stuff they just aren't it's all praise be to God a God that might not even be real you know it doesn't seem like religion really necessarily allows skepticism of the religion that you'd be looking at and believing in that's just a red flag in itself man no, I don't believe the other religions but believe us because yes <laughs> fuck's sake cheeks on the chair again all right i would have ended it here because i'm finished i don't think i have, i'll probably get any 
more constructive insight on the matter about improving my financial health uh, for now because it's so late there's no such thing it's 12 past one according to the clock on the wall it's time to go to bed and on that note i'm out cheers to improving my financial health man and cheers to doing what I need to do to be closer to living an ideal way of life. I'm not willing to lose my teeth. You might not be able to see it in my tooth, but on my two front teeth, I have plaque growing. I need to sort out my financial health, man. I'm not willing to lose my teeth over this shit. I'm not willing to lose my teeth over not improving my situation. I want to improve my situation anyway. My left eye is twitching again. I want to improve my situation anyway. But... I sure as hell I'm not losing... <laughs> rather ironically as I was talking about religious stuff. I sure as hell I'm not losing my teeth over this. I'm not losing my teeth. I say it over and over again. <laughs> and I can imagine a comment in my head as I was thinking well did he I, I, I don't think he mentioned that he's not willing to lose his teeth over this <laughs> me being sarcastic in my mind but I, I think that's just passive aggressive anger towards myself saying look man okay I get it goodness me no need to say it again but yeah anyway my mind is just sweet for neat oh but thank goodness I'm doing this at 21 and not at 35. The mind's more built. And it can take it more easily. A lot more fresh. But when I'm 35, or when, I, when the chronological age is 35, I won't have to think about this shit. I'll probably just be in another country abroad, chilling some shit. Doing some fucking grow through calisthenics geezer out there in the towers chilling. <laughs> not uh, maybe not at the towers, but near the towers or something. Traveling the world doing something. I won't have to be here for much longer. I won't have to be in an unideal life position for much longer. I won't have to because I'm having these thoughts at such an early age. That's subjective, but yeah. The mind's a lot more fresh, a lot more ripe, nowhere near its prime. But with this way of thinking that I have, I'm certainly on the path. Oh, my eyes twitching again. I'm certainly on the path to making something big of myself. Because I believe it, I say it and I believe it. But anyway, anyway I'll leave it at that. I've, I've made enough progress talking about my financial health for, um, for now, for one time. And enough. It's enough. It's enough for one one session and I could probably relate this all back to food by saying if I improve my financial situation it's gonna be i would be making it a lot easier for myself to eat healthily as well because I'd have the funds in immediate access to the funds in place to help me do that but the phones are less than 10 percent battery so I'm gonna end it here this clip is one hour one 11 minutes and 30 seconds long when I said it was and uh, I'm out peace at 40 seconds now. One hour, 11 minutes and 40 seconds, I meant. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> cheers to living an amazing life, man. And cheers to doing what I need to do. But now, I'm gone. I'm out. Peace.